Gentlemen, Mr. Speaker, I spent uh, going on four decades taking care of patients in uh, rural East Tennessee, and I saw access becoming more and more and more of a problem. And it, it is a, a serious issue now as Medicare costs have gone up and up and up. I have a mother who's almost 93, has a difficult time affording her health care and other needs that she has. And one of the things I'm very concerned with is, as uh, Mr. McDermott said, Dr. McDermott said, that we have 10,000 seniors a day uh, getting onto that uh, program. We need to leave those decisions to doctors and patients, not to bureaucrats. Here, let me just give you a little information. There is a similar panel in England called NICE, the National Institute of Clinical Excellence, I believe is what the acronym is. And the Royal College of Surgeons the other day just talked about how, how they noticed that over 75, almost nobody got operated on for breast cancer. Almost nobody over 75 got a gallbladder operation. Almost nobody over 75 got a knee op fixed. And almost nobody over 75 got a hip fixed. That's wrong. And that's exactly the pathway we're going down if we don't stop this nonsense. There's a very good article in the New England Journal of Medicine published in 2011. I recommend that you all read it. It's a look back from 25 years back. That's the only information they had. This, this uh, particular author was not for IPAB or against it. He just analyzed it. 21 of those 25 years, IPAB would have kicked in, meaning those cuts would have happened. And I can tell you this right now, our seniors better look like this with a laser beam on this because their care is going to be cut. If this goes into effect, we need to get rid of it now before that happens. With that, I yield back.